Chapter 11, 611, 61, sorry, The Maestro's Children. 54k Wormite? <gasps> oh, I wish I had that. Laxi is 19 twice death for this point. We must hurry. Are all androids so precise with their measurements? Laxi and I are special. We are unique designs. Unique, huh? Say, Maskio, you guys are all weapons made for fighting, yeah? Wait a minute. Unique designs? That's not what you told me in the tent last night. Luca, what a rude question. I don't mind. It's the truth after all. We are indeed weapons. But you only seem to want peace. Is that why you say you're unique? Might take a moment to tell you of our past. We androids were created by the Duranel Empire 300 years ago. However, our creator, Maestro, did not actually wish to do so. Oh, I just rhymed. Did you see what I did there? He didn't want to create you? Right, Maestro was a Duranel, but he obeyed the Empire, not out of choice. <laughs> he always said that in truth. He had no desire to make weapons of war. <laughs> So, is this Maestro guy like your dad or something? Daddy? Man, I can't even imagine knowing your own dad didn't want to make you talk about a total downer. Uh, my law was happy been made by my Astro. He never treated us as weapons. <laughs> he hated sending us into battle so much so that he defied the Empire's orders to do so time and time again. That will explain why I almost never saw an android, despite hearing almost non-stop rumors about them. Some who fought the Empire back then even considered them a fiction dreamed up to instill fear in their hearts. That's all thanks to Maestro. But he was an organic being with a finite amount of time to live. He died, in other words. Yes, he was taken by illnesses before the conflict could end between the Derrida Empire and the Berries. However, he left behind fail-safes to ensure Selma could not force us to fight after his death. What kind of fail-safes? First, he designed Andrus to prioritize Laxi's orders above all others. Even the wielder of the <clears throat> control element. Secondly, he is sure the far Laxi will ever cease function. All other Andrus will immediately do so as well. Finally, he created a wolf android with the power to annihilate Laxi. So this whole time there's been someone who can stop Laxi's mad rampage? Who's this magic android? Me. <gasps> we you? Yes, that's my purpose. Purpose! Wait a second, aren't you a big nipple? Wait, <laughs> Who totally hates fighting? <laughs> yes, why would you power to stop Lexi be given to one who's clearly so low to use when necessary? I expect that to be the exact reason. There was one final sense that last were left in place. I look all other androids. Lexi and I picked it with a heart. Wow, thank you, Fatkai Clan, for the subscription. Oh, thank you for the gift subscription, JP, man. Wow, all hail, best mod, JP1004. As a large muscle, the pup's blood. No, my ass shoot gave us a pass to just right for raw. That's what I call our heart. Ow, that kind of hurt. <laughs> and right now, Lass's heart is damaged. That's why she's attacking everyone indiscriminately. Whoa, Lake and Whale, thank you for the Wow, JP with the gift subs all around the world, man. Wow, what a generous best mod. MVP of the stream, yo. Wow. Man. Gifted 10 subs. Papa bless. The first you know, is all responsible for my distaste of fighting. If I destroy Laxi, our Landris will cease to function. It's a decision with heavy consequences to say the least. I suspect Maestro gave me heart so I could win that real disability without giving it all due consideration. Hmm. 
I wonder. What is it? You mice, your sounds like Sylvester Stallone. Perhaps he gave you hearts not as a failsafe, but just because he wanted his own children to have kind hearts themselves. You think he thought of us as his children? Of course you're his child! And that means he didn't give you a heart just to connect the dots to some kind of weird grand plan! He did it so you could become a kind person, just as he was. I am not considered that. Perhaps it occurred to you because you share the kindness, same kindness Maestro had. Thankful after his death, people managed to see the other away. We had just want to sleep, and Maestro failed safe would never need it. I suspect we will remain dormant until the end of time. But 300 years later, I was awakened and met all of you. I cannot believe this to be a coincidence. I feel the time to use a failsafe and plan it in me may finally be upon us. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> there, it's Laxie. Please do her. Just for a little while. I'll take care of the rest. Also, Laxie! You sure you're okay with this mascula? What do you mean? I don't want you to get hurt! You always say you don't want to hurt anyone, but we know what it means for you to stop, Laxie. Please, Mascula, don't do it. I mean, she's basically your sister. Can you really do this? I mean, you don't have to be the one to do it. I can do it. I appreciate your concern, Luca. It just proves what I was saying about your kindness. But I prepared to do as a must. I prepared for three centuries. Now come on, Laxie. No worries. It's such a singular moment. Mass, you love. Two hearts. Two hearts. <laughs> Coffee run for the whole ward. Ah! ah. Laxy, stop! Now is my time to act. You can't mean to attack her, Mascula. That will go against all that you are. Right. No need for that. It's not my strength that will stop her, but my heart near far wherever you are. <laughs> and I know that my heart will go on. <laughs> Lexi, I'll give you my heart. <laughs> Mascula, what are you doing? He's tearing something from his body. Well, no kidding, Elisan. Look at <laughs> look at what he's doing. <gasps> I give you my heart. <laughs> I give you. Can you feel my heartbeat? Heartbeat, beat, beat, beat. This is the apparatus by which I made good and evil. The one maestro gifted me. It is my heart. Oh. That's. Your heart? Take it, Lexi. Take my heart. Masculine, stop. This is crazy. I'm sorry, Luca. This is the only choice. Lexi's rampage is a result of her malfunctioning heart. If I grant a working one, the violence will cease. Stop the violence, man. If we stop, we stop every android. This is the best way to ensure that no one else does hurt. Listen to my heart beat, beat, beat. Except for you, Baka. I mean, you're gonna lose your heart. Whatever happened to you at that point? I'll miss you. <laughs> Don't worry. I woke up berserk, Lexi. As my heart also serves in my core, I will cease functioning once it's gone. That ain't any better, Mascula. You may have a big heart, but you don't understand a damn thing about mine. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't want you to go, alright? I'm sorry, Luca. I truly am. We did have fun in that tent that one starry night. But I made my decision. I'm gonna fight for everyone. Wait, you're gonna fight? I will fight to protect what is most important to me. Most important to me is you, Luca. Just like all of you. And this is the best way for me to do so. No way, Yamato! Now, Lassie, take my heart. 
He did it. He actually put his heart into Laxi. Heart. Mascula. Oh, wait, never mind. It's Laxi talking. Uh, art. M mascula. That should do it. Once it cease to function, my heart will activate a Laxi. Does that mean you're gonna die? Mmm. You, you could call it that. No, man, no. I'm sorry we got you and the other androids caught up in our fight, Mascula. It's because of what us that you're gonna... Do not apologize. We androids were created to fight. It may be our destiny to waken in times of strife. And in a world beset by war, there's simply no place for a pacifist like me. You know, if I could change, you could change, and we could all change, then I'll make a place for you. I'll give you my heart. <laughs> Luca? I'll make a world where folks like you are forced to fight. <laughs> He's like, he gets a knife. <laughs> oh, I'll give you my heart instead. Just hold on, the masculine. Give me time. I'll promise I'll make it happen. I'm happy to hear that. But time is something I no longer have. Damn it. Hold on, Mascula. Thank you, Luca. My friend. Mascula, no. Mascula. My boo. <sighs> no. <laughs> no. Moment of silence. Checking condition. Condition clear. Look at Laxi. Laxi activating in standard mode. Laxi? Affirmative. My designation is Laxi. I am Android Commander. Look, I know you've been through a lot, but could I maybe ask you to, um... I know what you require. I've already changed status of all androids from active operation standby mode. Thank you. That should help the soldiers who are still fighting the other front. Your thanks not unnecessary. I'm responsible for needless combat. Therefore, I must rectify situation. Man, she's kinda... hot. Yes, how should I put it? Incomprehensible. Please clarify, query. We were just thinking about how Different you are from Mascula. Mascula is failsafe. He is end. He is one who eliminates all conflict. I am opposite. I initiate conflict. I make fellow androids fight. Our essential qualities differ. That is all. I see. Er, uh, so what will you and all your fellow androids do now? We seek that which Maestro sought. That is my purpose now. And what do we seek? A world without conflict. A world of peace. You are not unlike masculine in that regard. If that is your ultimate goal, why don't you come with us? Why? So we can take you to a world without conflict or strife. Your proposal makes no sense. You and your people engage in war. If we travel together, I would become embroiled in conflict. I know, that's why we'll protect you. Incomprehensible. Androids need no protection. We have power to fight. Right, but having the power to fight and needing to fight are two different things, you know? I don't want to, you to force to fight. <laughs> it's a third arm. To what end would you have us come with you, then? What adventures is there in it? So you can finally experience peace. Maestro said the same thing once. He wanted us to experience peace, despite being born into a world of constant war and strife. However, I will not withhold- what? I would withhold judgment as to whether you are same as Maestro. No, take us with you. Sorry, what? Error. That is glitch in my linguistic faculties. Those are not words. Let's go with them, Laxi. I am very confused right now. It's as if two people were talking at once. There are excess thoughts within me, not excess thoughts, and pardon ones. Shut up. <laughs> my poor brain, no! No way. It's likely that my skills are merged with my own and cause this glitch. Glitch! Laxi, listen! Laxi, listen to me! Think of these people as Maestro, like him, 
Take it up, teach us how to live. You had the justice to be so. Yes, we could trust them. Is that right, Luca? Mascula, it is you. Oh, my love. Yes, Luca, it is. And now I can see for myself the place you make for us. Right on. That's what I was promised. And that's what I'm gonna deliver. Stop. I am Lexi. I do not care for being referred to by different designation. Sorry, couldn't help it. Anyway, nice to have you aboard, Maskelaxi. <laughs> oh, you combined our names. Chell, it would appear the androids have fallen into the hands of the seventh heir. <laughs> oh, what a lovely dance that was, Emil. He danced into the palm of your hand, just as you exported. However, the androids have now bolstered the military might of New Iberia. This is a dangerous game you play, princess. Oh, it's fine. Even with reinforcements, there's still no match for the other. They'll need to build up their strength even more for that to happen. I need those twins to play with each other for a while longer. When the time comes, I'll have them leave the stage. Meow har har har, always so confident. Don't blame me if Empress finds out about this. But goodness, I am the victim here. Emil is the one who took the androids and immediately lost them to the enemy. Hmm, perhaps. Still, this gambit didn't carry rather unfavorable odds for you. A lady is modest and graceful, but at times she must be bold. It is because we overcome great obstacles that the fires of love are stoked. Hmm. And so, once again, someone will be burned by your flame. Leonidas will be up next, won't he? I hear he's been mobilizing his forces. My, but your ears hear everything. That being said, my dear brother's flame is more the rough, conquering type than my own delicate fire. It is not a fool's errand to pit one flame against another to see which burns hotter. Then what will you do? Why, join hands and hold a passionate, wild, and brilliant party, of course. Oh, it will be so grand, isn't that right, Leonidas? Oh, is this a new ch next chapter? <gasps> oh, well, to be continued. And we got a new member. <gasps> new member of the team. We got Max Alaxis.